guys, welcome back to my channel. We are here on another beautiful Greek island, this time Kefalonia. We have seven days of exploring, relaxing and seeing what this beautiful island has to offer. So yeah, let's get going. Myrtos Beach. It's deemed the most beautiful beach on Kefalonia, one of the big sites to see. So we're going to head to the viewpoint now and the plan is to try and go on there and sunbathe for most of the day but with it being quite a popular beach and they do lots of excursions there it might get too busy and a bit too much so we may not stay the whole day but we'll see. That's how, where we're heading currently. Assos is a small village on the west side of Kefalonia. It is very picturesque. It suffered badly in the 1953 earthquake, which a lot of the island did. And actually, people of Paris helped fund the rebuild of Assos. So it's very traditional in its building and its architecture. It's very pretty because it was such a love spot by French tourists. They helped rebuild it. And it used to be under Venetian rule and the castle on the top of the hill, which you can access is Venetian. Parking is limited, but it is free. There's lots of cute little restaurants and bakeries. Uh, there are a couple of beaches, but they are very, very small. Yeah, definitely worth a drive into the village and to have a little wander. <music> So we've just stopped up at Patani Beach viewpoint and we're just coming to Patani Beach because apparently it's a really nice spot for sunset. It's only about five o'clock but we've decided just to stay out and enjoy the sunset in our messy sea salt beachy ways <laughs> or selves even. There's so many beaches that you, we've driven past that have like crystal clear water. It's very very beautiful. We're gonna head down now, do some more sunbathing, get the last of the sun and then probably just chill out and have dinner here uh, and watch the sunset. Good morning. So today our plan started with visiting one of the top things to see in Kefalonia, the Melasani Caves. During ancient times, these caves were inhabited and used as a place of worship for the Greek god Pan and the nymph Melisanthe, which is where the cave gets its name from. The ceiling of the cave is thought to have collapsed after an earthquake and revealed this beautiful hidden lake inside. And if you visit the lake at the right time of day, you can see the water at its brightest blue and it's so transparent. It's beautiful. It's stunning. You can enjoy the cave via a short paddle boat tour around the lake and tickets to enter cost eight euros per person and I would advise that you get there pretty early as it does get really busy with lots of coaches and lots of cars as it's one of the most popular sites to see on the island. After Melisani, we drove to Dragati Cave, which is not far away at all. It does sound like a Game of Thrones character and tickets to enter cost five euros per person or you can buy a dual ticket for entry to both caves for 10 euros. This cave is thought to be around 150 million years old, which is crazy, and was discovered about 300 years ago, again after an earthquake revealed its entrance. So we've just got to ancient Sami, which is like the Acropolis, it's a very old city high in Sami. It's just loads of ruins. It's a historical, archaeological site to see. So we've just pulled up here. island is so green it's 
I mean, we've come early June, so things haven't sort of burnt off yet, but absolutely stunning. And you can hear the, um, what are they called? Cicadas in the background. Excuse my sleepy face. I have just had the most nicest massage and I fell asleep during it. We are at Anti Samos Beach, which is just near Sami. We've just been here for the past few hours, relaxing, had some food. Yeah, it's really nice. There's a few nice sort of beach bars along the front and they're all free sunbeds, AKA you get a free sunbed if you buy a drink or have some food. And it's just surrounded by greenery. There's no like hotels or anything here. It's just the three beach bars and then a water sports place at the end. It is a pebble beach. Most of the beaches we've come across in Catalonia so far are pebble beaches. A lot of people have the um, sort of aqua shoes, which I have bought recently for lake swimming and wild swimming in the UK and didn't even think to bring it, bring them here with me because I just automatically assume that all beaches will be sanded and they haven't been. There's no graceful way of getting in and out of the sea, that's for sure. And I would 100% recommend coming to Antisamos Beach. It is delightful. <laughs> Good morning, it is 3.30 in the morning, but we are getting up to go to the tallest peak, not only of Catalonia, but of the Ionian mountains, Mount Enos. Heading up for sunrise, hopefully it's gonna be a clear morning. to the summit 1629 meters although we only hiked about 100 of them <laughs> upwards and we're the only ones here which is beautiful it is very cloudy which is slightly disappointing but you know it's still sunny so this is where we've parked and then we've kind of just come through all the trees and then up to the checkpoint <laughs> top of Catalonia. So some little facts for you from the board at the bottom of the path. So Mount Anos is up obviously the whole mountain and then the highest peak is called Megasauros. Soros? And it used to be a place of worship for the Greek god Zeus and they would sacrifice animals up there. And the term Soros comes from based on all the pile of bones that were there from all the sacrifices. When the sacrifices were made on the altar where they worshipped Zeus, smoke would go up into the sky and that would signal to a nearby islet called Dias to also make a simultaneous sacrifice to the god Zeus. So yeah quite interesting. Just heading back to the car now, we've decided because it's so cloudy and it's actually started spitting again, that we're gonna head back to the hotel, grab breakfast and do something with our day. And tomorrow, fingers crossed, the weather is looking good. 24 hours later. Sunrise part two paid off. Absolutely beautiful so peaceful, you can just hear some goat bells in the background, <laughs> but yeah, so nice. It always fascinates me how like the sunrise and sunset is always so quick, yet in the day it doesn't feel like it even moves. Weird. But now we're going to walk the East Ridge Line. It's not like a sharp edge or anything like that, but it's just below. Still above the trees, still should be able to see the sun in the sky and then we drop back down and walk the path back to the car. So the trees that you see lining covering the mountain is Kefalonian fir and you find that across different Greek islands but the specks of purple throughout the rocks is Kefalonian violet and you only find them here on Mount Enos in Kefalonia is pretty cool. The goats!
we are staying in Lassie, which, oh, my fingers blurring it out. But Argos Dolly is where all those houses are. And then the other side of that is Lassie. That other piece of land is also part of Kefalonia. That's where Luxury is. You've got the airport just over here. You've got Lodata Beach down here. Really nice views. The sun's just hitting this piece of land now. And then you've got the first ferry of the day heading over to Zakynthos over there. Got back to the car about 11 plus kilometers later and about four and a half hours later we are back what a morning it's been absolutely stunning sunrise was so worth getting up again this morning hardly seen anyone we, there was three other women on the top of the uh, summit with us when the sunrise came up and then other than that not a soul until we just got back to sort of the car park viewpoint bit where there's quite a lot of cars and people so definitely get here early if you want to not only get a spot with your car but also just get away from everyone the trail was pretty well marked the whole way. There was just parts where it went a bit not that obvious, very rocky underfoot, so definitely wear boots if you do want to do it. The last sort of half of it, we did, because we did the summit first for sunrise, obviously, then we walked along the ridge, then down, and then back up the track. And so the track's really easy to, to walk on. Loved it, absolutely loved it. What a great morning. It's only about 11 o'clock, so we're just gonna head back down now. It's about an hour's back to Lassie, and then spend the afternoon on the beach. We just come to Agastoli for evening dinner and drinks. It is the capital and we've not been yet so we're really excited to see what it's about. This is like a square, lots of restaurants and bars on it. So we've just got back from our evening in Agostoli. It was a really, really nice evening. Could not have asked for any more. We managed to get a spot in a restaurant that had a vegan menu, got my Aperol, and then you looked out to the sea and you've got sea turtles popping their heads up for air with the mountains in the background. Like, And then you've got local Greek musicians playing Greek music in the restaurant next door. Like, so amazing. And there's like a footpath that connects the mainland or main part of Agostoli to the other side of the water. So we walked along that as well. That's where we first spotted the loggerhead turtles coming up for air. And there's so many of them. And apparently that's a really popular place to see them. So obviously they, they nest on the beaches, but in that area, there's lots of seagrass and there's lots of all the fishing boats, especially in the morning, come and any fish they don't want just throw away. So the, the sea turtles take advantage of that and hang around the fishing boats to feed. That was incredible. We didn't expect that at all, so we were completely blown away by that. It was just a really nice evening, but it's our last full day tomorrow, so we're, we're definitely gonna have just a relaxing day. Good morning, it is our last day. Oh, really sad to be leaving Cavalonia later today. We do have most of the day though to still explore and get some beach time in. The sun is shining today. It was pretty much cloudy all day until about six o'clock, the moment we packed up on the beach, the sun came out. Law. Now we're heading to Poros. We're going to go to the south of the island. Poros is sort of a small coastal village, I believe. Soaking it all in as much as we can before we have to get back on that plane later. We've just 
just made it to the small village of Poros. The drive down here from Lassi was beautiful. Main port over there, which I think is, there's a ferry there at the moment. I think that's where coaches come over. A few people have said it's like old Greece and I can kind of see what they mean. There's elements of tourism here, obviously with the shops and the cafes and stuff, but it's really, really quiet. There's a driver of the bed which you could walk up as long as there's no river in it. <laughs> but it's really wise, it just shows how much water must come down from the mountains in the winter. Doing a bit of a litter pick as you do, so it doesn't get into the sea, every little helps. <laughs> Guys, we've just managed to get a vegan spinach pie. This is very exciting. We, when we went to Rose a few years ago, all we ate was spinach coppita, but it's obviously got feta cheese in it, and we don't eat the cheese. So popped into a bakery just to see what they had, and they had spinach pie that's vegan. So we're very, very excited about this. <laughs> We are just getting ready to go to the airport, unfortunately, so apologies if you can hear the road in the background. I'm just outside the front of the hotel. I realise that I haven't spoken to you about Piscardo yet. We're gonna head to Piscardo, have a, have a wander around there. It's kind of deemed the more expensive part of the island because a lot of the big fancy expensive yachts come in there. Really excited to see it, it's supposed to be really beautiful. Really, really beautiful little village. It's very how I imagine Italy to be. You've got all the fancy boats, you've got all the restaurants right on the harbour. Just walking to the lighthouse now on the lighthouse trail. We really, really like Pescado. It was a really, really good choice to go. Really nice afternoon, well spent, and the sun came out. It was absolutely boiling and beautiful. Definitely recommend that. And then, yeah, that's the end of our time in Catalonia. Really sad that it's come to an end. The week has flown by, absolutely loved it. Really loved sort of driving around the whole island and getting to see the whole island. Obviously, Crete last year, it's such a big island, you can't really drive around it and then also get relaxing time as well. So but loved Crete, just very different to Catalonia in many ways. But yeah, really, really loved it. I would definitely, definitely recommend coming and booking a trip. I wish we could stay longer. Thank you for watching and thank you for coming with us for this week. Hopefully it's inspired you to book your trip to Catalonia or just generally Greece, because I love it so much. Yeah, it's been great. Thank you again for watching and I will see you soon.